those people visiting Jeddah for the first time, the name of our city is Jeddah. And Jeddah in Arabic means grandmother. And most of the people surprised and they ask me, why do you name your city Jeddah? People normally give nice names to the city, such like the city of love, the city of sun, the city of honey, but not grandmother. But actually, there is a reason behind that. If you read books and history of Jeddah, you will find a lot of historians whom they documented and they wrote the history of Jeddah saying that there was a legend that we believe in it that when Eve landed from heaven, she landed here in Jeddah. Her grave and cemetery is in the other side of Jeddah. So those people wanted to visit Jeddah in the old day, they said I'm going to visit Jeddah, our grandmother, and do little prayer there, and then continue the trip. Now, Jeddah was well known 3,000 years from today, as a small village for the uh, fishermen, and it was in the road, which is the Kamel caravan and trading road for the trader that they move from Jordan in the north and Palestine all the way down to the south in Yemen by the seaside. And Jeddah used to be the stop point and break area for them. But really Jeddah took its importance 1,423 from today when the third ruler after Prophet Muhammad, his name is Uthman ibn Affan, who selected Jeddah to be the seaport to serve the new Muslims that they came from Africa and Asia and they wanted to enjoy the Hajj or they enjoy visiting the holy cities of Makkah al-Mukarrama and al Madin al munawwar The holy city Makkah, it is not by the seaside, it is 70 kilometers from the seaside, therefore they needed a seaport to serve them when they come down you know, to the, to the area. Therefore, they selected Jeddah to be the seaport. But really, Jeddah kept its importance till today because they have the airport. The international airport to serve Makkah is also Jeddah, and Makkah, they don't have an airport. Therefore, all those Muslims, they come from all over the world for the journey of Hajj and to visit the holy cities, they have to fly to Jeddah first and then they go to proceed to Mecca al-Mukarramah, the holy city, or to al madinah al the Prophet Mosque and the Prophet Grave and Cemetery. Mecca is well known as the most important city for the Muslims that they come and visit that area from all over the world. People when they, the Muslims, when they pray every day from anywhere, from any direction, in Jeddah, they have to do that. They have to, to pray towards and give faces to the direction of Mecca al mukarrama the holy city. So if they are in the south, they face to Mecca. If they are in the north, they face to Mecca. And if they are from anywhere on earth, they have to, they have to pray to the direction of Mecca al mukarrama Jeddah considered the economic capital of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And therefore, Jeddah become a very important city to the, uh, to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and to the people of Saudi. Believe it or not, Jeddah up to 1947 used to be a very small city surrounded by a wall. It was only one square kilometer. Do you believe that? One square kilometer. That's 1947. We're talking about 73, 74 years from today. So only 73 years and Jeddah now is 90 kilometers by 35. We're talking about 3,000 times bigger in 73 years. In 19, up to 1948, we used to have only 42,000 people living in Jeddah. Today we have more than 5.3 million people living in the city. If you take a look now to the right and to the left, you can see this modern part where we have, we have the buildings and Jeddah being expanded. Uh, this is the, we are now in the southern part 
of the city, of the old city, we're going to the uh, to a little bit northern where we can go and uh, uh, drive to the middle of the old city of Jeddah. Up to 1947, we used to have Jeddah was very small, surrounded by a wall. The wall to protect Jeddah from the invader. And by the way, Jeddah, yes, was one of the wanted city by the invader. Last one they tried to invade Jeddah was the Portuguese. They came here, they surrounded Jeddah for three months, and then, because of the shortage of water, they couldn't resist to stay longer, therefore they left Jeddah and they did not continue. Otherwise, I will be, I will be speaking to you today in Portuguese. Jeddah. Only one tree. And why that? Because we don't have a river, we don't have rain in Jeddah, just like your beautiful country. As I can see, mostly we have Filipino and Indians. Correct me if I'm wrong. Am I right? Yes. I love you, Filipino. I love you, Indians. <laughs> and uh, because of that, because of the shortage of water, we don't have rivers and we, have, we don't have rain. We have this only old tree, which is more than 150 years old, located in the old city. Would you like to visit that old tree? Yes. I'm going to charge you $50 extra <laughs> each. Nothing free nowadays, my friends. Nothing free. What's your name? And because of Eileen, we'll make it free of charge for you. landmark of the old city of Jeddah. Our tour will be between two to two and a half hours and we're going to enjoy also a traditional meal there. Ooh. Ooh. Are you hungry like me? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I did not enjoy my lunch. I was waiting for this day. So we will, uh, we will have the chance and the uh, opportunity to move around. From one tree today, you can take a look from your glass to the right and to the left. We have in Jeddah more than 10 million trees. Wow. And that's because of the desalination project that took place in the old city of Jeddah. Uh, the, the desalination project now, we filter the water from the sea and we produce more than 8 million gallons of water every day. And we use that water for, uh, for people washing, cleaning, not for drinking, of course. But at the end of the day, this is what people in Jeddah enjoy. Take a look from the right side. You can see some nice building there with uh, it's a modern, uh, you know, construction. But we, behind those buildings, believe it or not, you will enjoy seeing the beautiful old houses of Jeddah by its unique architect and designing. To the next side, you can see part of the seaport. Jeddah Seaport considered the one of the largest seaports by the Red Sea. And of course, uh, you can take a look to the front. We're going to go towards that area. You will see a big flag. Actually, there's a post with one big flag there. This is considered the largest and the tallest post for a flag in the world, registered in Guinness Book. We're going to pass by that flag in a few minutes. That flag in front of you, it's 53 by 47 meters, and it is by a, a 142 meter high. It is the highest and it is the biggest uh, 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 flag in the world. In Jeddah, we have uh, different items which is registered in Guinness Book, such, such like, I believe, from your uh, a uh, cruise ship, every day after six you see the fountain, right? Yes. The fountain considered the highest, the second highest fountain in the world, with, a, with 316 meters above the sea level.
Normally they operate the fountain between 6 o'clock in the afternoon till around 12 midnight. That building to the left side you can see with the green glass with where the mayor office is of Jeddah. And it is the uh, municipality as well. And to the right side is where we have the glass, those glass buildings. They are mostly are commercial, commercial business uh, towers to receive and to accommodate those business companies that they have relation to the seaside, which is uh, uh, seaport businesses or the whole city. Jeddah is serving the majority of the cities and the villages surrounding Jeddah. If you take a look at this small mosque to the left side, in Jeddah we have more than 2,162 mosques for those people they wanted to enjoy prayer. Muslims, as you are aware, they have five prayers a day. One prayer, the first prayer is the one by the sunrise, which we call it Fajr, and then we have noon pray, and then we have the Asr pray, which is between noon and between sunset. The fourth one is the uh, is the uh, sunset uh, prayer, and the last one is the night pray, which is an hour and a half after sunset. So people already now enjoy three prayer. The by the sunset they will enjoy the fourth one. Most of the houses and towers that in our area they have been built since the 70s and 80s and uh, very few you will see that they just uh, we have the expansion of the city is going towards the north. If you are crazy about shopping like my wife, we have more than 5,200 shops only in the old city. And uh, I always tell my wife that I lost my credit card whenever we come to the whole city. Because I know I had the experience once with her, we've been in the, the first month that I get married to her, she took me to downtown, to the whole city. She said I want to go, you know, just visiting the area and do a little shopping. We advise you to go to different shopping malls surrounding Jeddah or in Jeddah. Because Jeddah is an important city to the Muslims and it is the gate for the two holy cities, we have the Islamic organization office based here in Jeddah. We will be in the whole city of Jeddah in around uh, three to four minutes. Please, I wanted you to uh, ensure that you can enjoy uh, photographs and pictures as much as you can. Have fun and do a lot of pictures for memory because uh, this is going to be an experience that maybe you would like to share it with your family and friends. I know that uh, my group when they came in the morning from the cruise, your friends and your colleagues, they told me this is the first time they've been out of the cruise after three or five or seven months. So I hope that uh, you will enjoy the change going out with me today. In one minute we will be in the old city of Jeddah. Please remain in the seat. We will open the door for me to go out to ensure that everything is okay. Then I will request you to get out of the bus to start the tour and to enjoy visiting the old city of Jeddah. Today, there is a lot of construction is taking place because Jeddah 2014 been approved by UNESCO as one of the world heritage sites. So uh, we have a lot of projects. It will take around around uh, seven to eight years. Seven to eight years that it will be uh, to complete the. Uh, preserving and maintaining the whole city of all Jeddah.
So please wait for me and have to give me the, the sign. Try to have your mask. Everybody have a mask. If you don't have, we have masks here at the front. You can take one with you. Please follow me. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Nakatapak na rin sa lupa. <laughs> Ganun. Burado. Yay!